Hello people, today we are going to do the question about the cake candles, so let's get right into it. The problem statement says, you are in charge of the cake for your niece's birthday and have decided the cake will have one candle for each year of her total age. When she blows out the candles, she will only be able to blow out the tallest ones. Your task is to find out how many candles can she successfully blow out. So let's see the example one. If your niece is turning 4 years old. And the cake will have 4 candles of height 4, 4, 1 and 3. She will be able to blow out 2 candles successfully. Since the tallest candles are of the height 4 and there are 2 such candles. So what we can gather from the question is what it asks us to do is first we have to figure out which candle is the tallest and then how many times it appears. So what this essentially is, we can rephrase this question in technical terms and say, find the uh, frequency of the maximum element in the array. And that turns out to be a simple question. So we will see how we can do this. First of all, what we'll do is, we'll find the um, to, uh, highest number, which is the max height of the candle, and it can be said as uh, max and air. So with this, we'll simply get the highest number in the array. And then, we can use the uh, dot count function to find out how many times it appears in the array. So the array is air. And we need to count how many times max underscore height appears in it. So this would be the syntax. This is the count and return count. And that is it. The question is solved. Let's try running the code. And the sample test case passes. So let's try submitting the code. Yeah, so that's correct. Now, uh, this is not it. We will try solving this question in another way too. So the next approach we are going to take is, we are going to use the counter data type available in the collections module. Yeah. So for the people who don't know what counter data type is, it's a nice opportunity to get an introduction to it and I have a whole Instagram post about it, a very detailed post. I'll link it in the description so you can uh, see it for more details. So counter data type, yeah. So we will see what counter data type is and how it is used. So first of all, it's in the collections module, so we need to import it. And then, so if we have a uh, any iterable, it could be a list or a dictionary or a tuple or a set, uh, uh, a set, uh, it's of no use for a set because set already has only unique elements. So it could be a list, a tuple, a map, whatever iterable you want. So if we have a list uh, like this, 1, 3, 2, 1, 4, 2, 2. So we can see 2 appears 3 times and 1 appears 2 times. So if we have to find out how many times an element appears, we could uh, wrap it with the counter data type. And it would uh, give us back a counter object and let's try printing what we get when we uh, try printing it. See, so uh, it says two appears three times, one appears two times, three appears one time and so on. So we get the frequency of each element and this is very useful because uh, we could have done this manually too and created a map. But with counter data type, we get uh, a lot of useful functions like finding the nth most common element and so on. So uh, we'll use this counter data type now. So count is equal to counter and add. First, we need to import this too. So from collections import counter so yeah that's good we should be good to go now we have the count 
now we need to figure out how many times the maximum so first we need to figure out what the maximum number is so the max number we could simply find out by r r is a uh, max r so we got the max and we simply return the count of wait just let me fix this max underscore height count max underscore height because it's a dictionary and the keys are the values that were in the r and the values are the how many uh, are the count of how many times they appear so let's try running this code and this also passes yeah so a couple of things that i want to say is we could have simply uh, done this question with dot count and left it over there but i wanted to use this as an opportunity to uh, uh, introduce you people to the counter data type for those who don't know and i like suggest you that you look into it it's a very useful data type and that's about it for this question please like and subscribe and watch my other hacker rank videos i'm sure you'll learn something thank you